All right, here we go. The TBS Crossfire. This is a, a way to hook up the actual Crossfire protocol in the in the race fight. Uh, revolt. You got a bolt. You get amps and and volts and all that good stuff. So um, first off, you got the new Crossfire V2. It's got the the four channel output. You're going to use three of those four channels. Um, I originally started out with this wire. They're they're three wire that they they give. Um, but that's not going to be good enough. Where you've got to solder on a couple wires. I want mine on a connector. If you use the connectors that it comes with, I use this six connector, uh, plugs right into the jack, although the wires aren't long enough, so I actually take the connector off and move it over to the five wire, uh, and we're gonna use all but wire number three, so that actually works out perfect. Um, you can put these five wires in there and then wire it into the board. So I have one here, uh, all hooked up. You can see uh, Smart Audio is now going to channel four, the last channel. Um, and then the TX and RX are going to go to the other side of the board. I'll show you where those are and then the two power wires So it it runs just standard power. I have five volts doesn't matter which you are you, you get it off of as long as you get it wired um, Channel one goes I believe it's to RX three. It's it's the last and then then channel two goes to TX three um, On the revolt so you got to do that right there um, then you come in and this is a conversion so I have this one running non-inverted S bus right now um, and if I go into the micro VTX output non-inverted S bus I change that to Crossfire TX and when I hit over the second channel will go to Crossfire RX automatically um, this one I already have set up on smart audio if you want to do smart audio you've got to do uh, beta in the TBS agent hit F1 uh, and then you can download the latest beta and it does it does smart audio um, So uh, There you go. So once you get this you've got to run the console command in in uh, race flight to make it work um, That was released on the one uh, 313 release notes uh, You just simply run that and you can do everything else. So you just can't do auto detect um, but the best part I guess is the uh, smart audios right here um, this is set on Fat Shark 7. I'll put it on race uh, 6 at 25 milliwatts. It's all instantaneously, so I'm now transfer on uh, race 6, 25 milliwatt. Um, so you don't need Lewis grips. You don't need anything special. I've got nothing done to this radio, minus that I went in and, and configured a page to, to have my volts and amps and things like that um, show up. So uh, it's that simple to do, and it works really well. Race flight.